one of the comments that Biden made was that he didn't understand why we couldn't make more products in America. Like, why are so many products made in China? He says, there's no reason for these products to be made in China. We can just make them in America. And that's what this is all going to be about. We're going to spend all this money on infrastructure, yet we're going to buy all the things that we need, all the solar, all the batteries. We're just going to buy the stuff that's made in America, except it's not made in America. And the reason it's not is government. Government is the reason the U.S. economy is so uncompetitive, or one of the main reasons. It's because of excess regulation and excess taxation that businesses don't have the money to make the capital investments. It's because interest rates are so low to prop up bubbles and finance government deficits that we don't have the savings to fund capital investment, that people aren't encouraged to save because they can't earn a decent rate of return on their savings. So when you don't have savings, you don't have capital investment, you don't make stuff. That is the problem. And Biden just doesn't understand those reasons. Now, the other reason, ironically, had to do with labor unions, which is something that Biden praised. Biden said that the country was not built by business owners, entrepreneurs, by corporations, right? It was built by the middle class and the middle class was built by the labor unions, according to Joe Biden. So there was no middle class until the labor unions created the middle class. And then that middle class is what made the country rich. Biden has it bass backwards. It was capitalism that created the middle class. In fact, there was no middle class anywhere until America invented it, but it was the freedom of a capitalist system that we had where we had limited government and and maximum freedom. That is what gave birth to the middle class. Now, the middle class did create the labor unions, and it was kind of like Frankenstein creating a monster because the Frankenstein monster ultimately turns on Frankenstein Well, the labor unions turned on their creator because the labor unions helped destroy the middle class because what they did is they made their employers uncompetitive on global markets. And so one of the reasons that all these factory jobs were destroyed was because the unions forced the companies to be uncompetitive. And so that opened up an opportunity for the German companies and the Japanese companies to outcompete the inefficient American companies who were having to deal with these unreasonable demands of the labor unions. And so ultimately, the labor unions destroyed all the companies that they infected. Yet Joe Biden wants to pretend that we owe our success to the labor unions. We would be far more successful had those unions never existed. And it's not an accident that the industries that were the most heavily unionized were the ones that got destroyed. Now, the reason that the government unions are still there is because they're not subject to market forces. So most of the people who are unionized now are government workers, right? Because they don't have to be efficient. They're not subject to competitive forces and you can't fire these people. So you have these huge public sector unions. And, you know, even Franklin Delano Roosevelt was against those. I mean, they should be outlawed. Nobody should be allowed to put a gun to the head of the taxpayer when you've got a government job. And, of course, the unions actually negotiate with themselves because the politicians are afraid not to give the unions what they want because the unions can vote and the unions can get out the vote. So these type of labor unions should be illegal. I'm not opposed to private sector unions, but what I am opposed to is the government conferring special privileges to these unions to allow them to extort and harass their employers, right? Which is what we've done. I'm fine with people unionizing, but you also have to be fine with employers. Say, look, you know, we can fire people if you want to go on strike. You're going to get fired. We're going to replace you with other workers. And the labor union shouldn't have any ability to interfere uh, with that process. The Peter Schiff Show.